Ironingos. I'm Winter, and this is Super Flat Adventures. Where did I come from last time? I, I, well, hello, I think I came from there, right? We, I just I found this chest that I collected. I did collect the contents. I did content the collets of that chest. Now, what we're gonna do, actually, I think I'll go this way, is explore the rest of the stronghold to see if we can't find any more chests, because if we do, we may find more diamonds, and if we find more diamonds, we may be able to get an enchanting table. Ah, uh, if we don't, whatever, it just means that we'll have to do without, uh, which actually makes things even more hardcore and extreme, so that makes me happy. I'm, I'm sure I'm missing uh, uh, this way. Ah, there we go. Um, uh, thanks for taking care of the lighting glitch. Nom 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 How much iron do we have, by the way? Uh, nine? Nine is a lot. I can make myself an helmet. There we go. And I can also make myself a bucket. Ugh. Wait, I already have a bucket. I already have a bucket because I used it to, to grow, to farm the melons, of course. Nom 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 Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at that water. The waterfall. Let's not fall right now. This, whoa, whoa, I'm the cursor right next to an enderman. He keeps going over there, but there are no rooms, just floating things. Floating things? <laughs> like that mineshaft platform. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't know that could happen. There, there is a, I don't know if you can see it, but there is an enderman on that island. He's stranded. Like on a, yeah, island. On an island. He's stranded on a deserted island without trees, without... Uh, uh, animals and food, and it, it only the enderman only has wooden planks, but he can't grow food with them, and he can't. They're not not renewable. That's horrible. He can't even send bottled messages because ooh, it was close. Because he, if he what no, oh, because if he drops, uh, look at that. If he drops the bottles, oh that was too close. They're going to fall in the void. Let me take the torch back. <laughs> Best, uh, actually, best trap ever. Just in a UHC, you just need to dig a hole to the void through the bedrock and then police a the door, and people are totally going to be like, hey, there's a door, I should open it, I should check uh, what's past the door, and then they fall in the void, and then uh, you win. And the only downside is that you can't not collect the, the loot. Have I been here already? Uh, torch. Did I put it down? No, it's natural. Wait, that's not natural. Have I been here already? How did I come here? Huh. I don't remember this place at all. <laughs> hmm. I like it when the iron doors are already open. It's just... Uh, it's, it's welcoming. Alright, I came from here, so I still need to check out this. It just... blah. Just turns around. Needle... Yeah, a needless room. An unneeded room. This doesn't go anywhere, does it? It just... Twirl, it twirls around like this. Why would you... Yeah... Ah... People need to hire better architects, seriously. Nothing here, just the uh, walls are full. Hey, I believe we're done. Yeah, we're done. There is... Uh, there were no more chests. That's a shame, because I found two chests and then one third chest. In a previous episode and today there are none. Oh no! What a shame. I believe the portal should be right here to the left. No, it's not. Oh, but <laughs> to the right. Close enough. So, we get a chance to grab this uh, lava to make ourselves a nether portal. And it's the only way we can access to the nether, but you know what? Whatever. I don't care about your stupid non-flat nether. I'm just going to collect a couple of torches on my way back. Which... I actually don't remember what it is. Are there stairs going upward? No? No? Oh well, I guess I'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Oh, hey, hi! something <laughs> whoa whoa I'm close enough to in the end <laughs> that was anticlimactic crap ah okay it's gone 
<laughs> That's how close we are to the Ender Dragon. That was scary. Didn't want the dragon. Oh, I see you. I've seen you, sneaky, sneaky silverfish. Yeah, that was scary, unexpected. Like dragon suddenly is like, poof, I'm here. <laughs> You've been trash talking me this entire time, so now come here and fight me. Where is zero zero that way? So let's step just a tiny bit away. Just just a tiny bit. Just just like this. Just to be safe. Wonderful. And now twenty-seven black wolves. I almost stared at the enemy man. It's time to go! Am I, am I fully geared up? I could make a sword with the diamonds, but uh, I'm not planning on using the diamonds. I don't know, think about it. I'm not sure if this amount of arrows is enough to kill even one Ender Dragon, because I know I can do it with two stacks, but that's with a power bow. It's at least a power one. I'm not even sure if that's with a power two. Ooh, <laughs> this is the part where I suddenly realize that I may not be able to finish this series. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be badass. Ah, and stuck. Stuck, stuck. Okay, that's the last block over there. <laughs> I love how my wool is replenishing on its own. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, look! Clouds! <laughs> Beautiful! Where is this way? Uh, should I have. I should have blocks on my bar just. Uh, just for the sake of it. There's a dragon right there. Time to finish this. Nom, 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 nom. Wait, it's bread time, actually. Bread time. Mmm, sandwich time. Oh, all oh, right. The Endermen are going to be teleporting around because it's. Because it's. There is uh, too much light. Now, that is a. Problem, well, problem. We don't have pillars, right? Not having pillars just means that this fight is going to be a tiny bit easier than it would, we would like to. So one way to make it harder would be to at least have the enemy around. But we got here this time of the day, so we don't really have a choice. What? What? I got turned around. Ah! Ah! Beautiful! Look at this! Where is the dragon? Look at this! Ah! Hello! I really need to be careful with my arrows. Hello! Oh! That was... Dragon trolling me! Ah! <laughs> Wee! Ouch! Ouch! Oh, I need to be careful because if I fall... If the dragon digs a hole to the layer of wool below and I fall in it, it's going to kill me. Mr. Dragon. Oh, sorry, Mr. Dragon. I keep forgetting. Miss? Mrs? <laughs> mm, I wonder about uh, the most important questions in the universe. How should I address the dragon that's trying to kill me? <laughs> oh, man. Once we're done... Oh, Enderman, by the way, will be spawning in the areas that the dragon will, uh, is going to dig through because they are going to be in the shadow if they're covered like not here but down there dragon this is beautiful have you ever seen an ender dragon in the wild well here it is flying freely in the sky um making holes in the world that's something entirely new that you don't see in the end simply because the dragon goes through and stone and obsidian without damaging it and with all the colored wool around it is so awesome this year oh hi wait that, that was unfair <laughs> this year is the entire reason why i started this just to watch this beautiful landscaping project i knew the ender dragon was an artist i knew the ender dragon had it in her her, right? Right in the face! How many do we have? Plenty, plenty! The dragon takes more damage if you hit it. 
hair, goodness. If you hit her, hit her in the face. So that's one way to save on errors. Just uh, shoot them all. And it's eye. The eyes are the weak point. Uh, as usual. Plus, they're the only remarkable, remarkably... Uh, sparkly... How should I put it? Crap, it's going to... <laughs> the dragon is the mole! <laughs> it's the only feature that is like... The, that purple of the eyes is really bright, so... You know when in video games... Uh, uh, an enemy, especially in boss battles, have really, really obvious, bright, uh, <laughs> weak spots that are really, really obvious just because they think the player is not capable of figuring it out on their own. That's, that that kind of counts. Also, we have a question. Again, another really philosophically important and deep question why is the inside of the ender dragon's mouth purple look at it wait ow i i saw the <laughs> the inside of the ender dragon's mouth way too close <laughs> i almost entered the, the ender dragon's mouth Boop. that's an experience i would prefer to not experience now that I think about it, I probably should not have put uh, me being killed by the Ender Dragon in the intro of this series. <laughs> that, that's going to bring me bad luck. Ooh, that was nice. Didn't I say I should uh, save up on errors? We're doing great. I'm not even going to waste uh, a single stack of errors. Okay, maybe one stack. Uh, so, the dragon tries to fly in... in... Uh, by following certain rules and limits. But it was so smooth. <laughs> All those blocks just disappearing. Uh, hmm. One is that the dragon will try its best... Ah, Let me collect that error. Will try its best to not get too far from zero zero. So, even though the dragon does try to follow the player, why did I really travel the far? So, you know, if I'm here, the dragon at a certain point will swoop down on me, and uh, swooping is bad. Bad. Ah! <laughs> bad. Nom 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 nom. It still will try to get back to zero zero, so there is a point uh, where the dragon gets stuck. <laughs> and after that, it will just. Uh, yes! Right in the wing! It will just, uh, de not despawn, just be unloaded with the chunks. Uh, but even if the dragon wasn't, uh, would not get stuck, it just suggests to Minecraft not uh, checking on its behavior anymore after a certain distance from the player, with like with every other mob, uh, it, it still would uh, not uh, go too far from zero zero. It, it doesn't happen. There's a point where it just stops following you. And that's to avoid uh, that the dragon flies too far away from the... From the end islands. Uh, island. Well, main island and then the little ones, if they're there. Swoosh! Okay, you didn't attack me twice. And besides that, it tries to stick to a certain height. Again, because it, in, in the end, there's just this, you know, island thingy and that's it, and the dragon is supposed to fly above it and that it's height, but not below it because it's pointless. Which is why we needed to have... Uh, oh, that was a nice dive. Oh, that was a nice trolling! <laughs> ah, stop! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Ooh. Uh, where was I at? Uh, and that's why we had to have our main layer at this height. If this layer of wolves, if this series of wolves appear, was not here, so we, I only had the one down there where I played up until now, I would totally not be able to fight a dragon, or it would be a real difficult to fight because it would always fly above me, not even swoop down to attack me. 
at all, because that's just too low. The dragon will not lower herself at my height. Come here! There we go! <laughs> hmm. I really would like to show the Ender Dragon at sunset. And I think uh, I think uh, I may be able to not kill it. Uh, her crap! <laughs> and I get mad when people do that to me. <laughs> yeah, because people usually call me it. Uh, they treat me as not. No. So I may, I may be able to survive until sunset because fighting the energy dragon at sunset, uh, it's beautiful. It's incredibly beautiful. The, it's just something that you can only experience uh, in a super flat present in the end. It's really, it's, it's just beautiful. Plus, uh, the sky is not blue in this place. Oh, sorry, you were trying to go underwater and I, and I stopped you from doing that. Um, the sky is black and the ender dragon is black, so it kinda... It's a tiny bit of a shame, it would look much better if the sky was blue, obviously, that was kind of risky. But yeah, sunset and dawn kind of fix that, except not with blue, but still with a nicely colored sky. So I, I, would, I would really be happy if I could manage to show you that. Hmm... I believe that's it, I believe that's everything I needed to say, so... And man, let's just uh, find a nice spot, uh, possibly safe, uh, to stay at, like for example over here. Okay, this seems decent. And the dragon still doesn't come kinda down here. Hello! I like the Ender Jacob's model and animation. The first time I, I fought uh, the Ender Dragon in Minecraft 1.0. Ooh, that was ages ago. <laughs> I I was just uh, so impressed by the way the wings moved, so smooth and nice and uh, plus, uh, dragons are always just uh, majestic in general. I mean, this is the biggest mob. Besides the giant that we have in Minecraft, so it, it had... It, it's just... It was pretty impressive. And there's our sunset, just in time too. Oh, oh I think we only have one or two hours left, so let's uh, give the dragon a tiny bit of time just to enjoy the view. Dragon, you should enjoy the view, because I'm going to kick you in the face in a moment. Ah... Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> hmm. Sometimes I look back to the first time I played one video game or another and I remember that feeling of awe and uh, surprise and just enjoying whatever feature of the game. Like when, when you play something that just came out and makes the best use of the best engine that, uh, that technology has at its disposal and <laughs> the first time I played Skyrim I was like <gasps> <laughs> the river has a current <laughs> if it's swim in the river the current brings me away it's so beautiful <laughs> I was so impressed by that and there now the dragon is uh, oh <laughs> the dragon is angry with that enderman <laughs> she's like where have you been this entire time you're supposed to help me against the player no, the dragon is refusing to come here for the last hit. I'm not surprised. The dragon knows what's coming. So I guess I'll have to be coming to the dragon. If the dragon doesn't come to Wintermore, Wintermore goes to the dragon. There it is. Oh, it wasn't the last arrow. I didn't hit the dragon in the face, so this one is going to... Oh! <laughs> uh oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> There, this word now this word feels less alone because this word had some role into defeating the ender dragon. Wee! 
Yay! Oh, I wish I had the Rainbow Experience mod. Because that's just something. Oh, by the way, the wool also has a wonderful effect when this happens. <laughs> Look at it! It's really not that wool kind of ruins it. That's beautiful. <laughs> Let's place a couple of torches around so I will not lose this uh, portal in a moment. But yes, uh, the Ender Dragon, when it dies, it spawns an end portal, as you know, and it also does that in uh, Super Flat World, so the portal is not uh, world dependent. It will spawn every time a dragon is killed, so that will allow us to travel to the end, the real one, where we're going to fight another dragon. Oop! Let's explore a tiny bit this place because look at it. That's how, if you want to have caves in Super Flat, that's how you do it. <laughs> you spawn an Ender Dragon <laughs> and let it have some fun. Well, if, you, if you're going to use a mod that allows you to, you could spawn a whole bunch of dragons, have them buy a, a present like the Tunneler's Dream present, which has. Lots of stone all the way to layer 170, probably, I think. Maybe even more, which is kind of insane. And then just uh, have a whole bunch of dragons there, let them play around uh, with the scenery, then uh, uh, you can switch to peaceful to make dragons despawn, so you will have to deal with them in some other way. And then you got a whole bunch of holes. Swiss Cheese Mountain. Swiss cheese rainbow! Beautiful! I don't know if all this water makes it better. It makes it better, yeah. No, I didn't. It's a lie. <laughs> don't believe them. It's nice to fly in creative and look at this from up, from higher up in the sky. It's what the heck? What? Oh, I'm, I totally managed to, to anger one of them. And this is the part where I realized I didn't have my water bucket ready. Ready. Ready! That's why I wanted to make a water bucket earlier. So... That's it. I have no idea how I looked at the Enderman. I never even saw it. But the Enderman saw me seeing it. I believe that is it. This is the first Ender Dragon fight. Beautiful. Ouch. Are there any holes? Uh, there has to be a hole that goes uh, all the way down. Not to the void, but just... Uh, th there has to be a spot where the dragon dug through all these layers so you can see below. Where... Red, orange, brown, black. No, it doesn't go deeper than black. Aww. What a shame. Starry sky. Hmm, so the only thing we have left to do is get down to the portal, which is not as easy as it may seem. <laughs> uh, ooh. Right here. Get down there, collect the remaining experience. There we go. Uh, okay, I can dig straight down here. Hmm, how deep does that go? What? Let me check that out. Oh, not away. Oh, this is nice. There's a cave behind the waterfall, as usual. Oh, I there too! Now, what happens if the egg falls in the portal? Does that happen? I don't even remember if that happens. The portal looks weird, or is it me? Whoa, whoa, that could have been dangerous. Nah, it's probably just me. Uh, boop. I guess I could have put uh, all the layers just one block deeper to have a seamless, seamless transition. 
But okay, let's come here and see where the egg goes. I have no clue where it went. Eggy. Eggy. Egg. It could have gone down there, but first I'm going to check if it's not on the surface. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Wait. Nom 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 nom. There we go. Oh, all those blocks are going to teleport to the end. Here we are. I don't see the dragon egg anywhere. We have we have misplaced the dragon egg. Hmm. Yeah, no, not not seeing it. Oh ah. Uh. Uh oh. We might have a problem. Where did I pill? Oh, right here. That's where I pillared up. Okay, so let's try to go downstairs instead. Back where we were before, where is... I can keep going. But not here. If I did that, I would die. Uh... Oh, there it is! Wait! Yes, yes, that's it. It looks like a hole. What happens if the water flows against the egg? Does it go away? I can't survive this fall, actually. Plus, I have armor. Does armor protect me from fall? I don't remember. Light! Let's do it. Nee! This is the way everything started! Oh, that's where I pillared up. <laughs> okay, now we need to collect this and we're going to do it uh, the usual way. Like this! Whoop! Whoop! There's a egg! Now, well... There's a egg! Wonderful! Now, uh... The last thing we need to do is fight the other dragons, so... Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed yourself, and I will see you... In the end! Not the rainbow colored, however. The lame end. With pillars. Pillars, however, are nice. Not lame. Not lame at all.